Weather and climate are two different terms with different meanings, although they are interrelated. These two terms have the same elements, which make up our weather and our climate. The elements of weather and climate include measurement of wind speed and direction, humidity levels, precipitation, air pressure, cloud cover, cloud types, temperature, and type of rain and amounts. However, out of those, there are five basic elements. Temperature, air pressure, wind, humidity, precipitation. Everyone knows what temperature is. Whenever we discuss the weather, temperature is one of the few elements that come up. Temperature is the measurement of the amount of the kinetic energy present in the air, which manifests itself through heat or cold. People use a different scales for temperature such as Kelvin, Celsius, and Fahrenheit. Temperature is one of the most important elements of weather and climate because it influences other elements such as precipitation, pressure, and humidity. Another essential element is the air pressure, especially when it is talking about changing or creating atmospheric conditions. Air pressure is the result of the pressure created by the weight of the air in the Earth's atmosphere. It is the weight of the air resting on the Earth's surface. This is also called barometric pressure, named after the instrument used to measure it. Pressure is shown on a weather map, often called as synoptic map with lines called isobars. The temperature increases in the stratosphere because of the ozone which absorbs the ultraviolet radiation that is concentrated in this layer. The ozone is extremely important for us humans because it absorbs ultraviolet radiation from the sun. If the ozone was not around or if it decreased, there might be an increase in skin cancer. Wind, the movement of air, is one of the main forces of weather and climate. The majority or extreme events like thunderstorms and hurricanes are driven by wind. Wind is the large-scale movement of air from an area of high to an area of low pressure in the atmosphere. The speed and strength of this element is determined by the distance between the low and high pressure areas, as well as the differences in air pressure. There are six types of wind. 1. The polar easterlies or the polar Hadley cells. 2. The westerlies. 3. Trade winds or tropical easterlies. 4. The doldrums. 5. Periodic winds. And 6. Local winds. Humidity is the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere. It is the measurable amount of moisture in the lower atmosphere. Water vapor is nothing more but water and gas state. The humidity element of weather makes the day feel hotter and can be used to predict storms. Although humidity can be felt, it is usually visible to the naked eye. We all know that any form of water is needed and important for human life. Precipitation is water in different states, which form after condensation turned water vapor into solid or liquid form which falls to the ground once it becomes too heavy to stay in the air. It primarily is the result of evaporation and condensation. Precipitation is simply any water form that falls to the earth from cloud formations. As an element of weather and climate, precipitation can determine if outdoor activities are suitable. It is long-term and a predictable factor of a region's makeup. Precipitation is the product of rapid condensation process, and if the process is slow, it will only produce cloudy skies. 
precipitation could take on the form of drizzle, mist, rain, hail, grapple, or snow.